If you're looking for a course platform to host your course on, then you might think of Teachable, Thinkific or Kajabi. And these are great platforms, but they can be quite expensive for what they have to offer. Recently, I stumbled across a course platform that is called FreshLearn, which is quite cheap compared to the other platforms that I just mentioned. But is it any good? Well, in this video, I will give you my honest review and I will let you know if it's worth the price point. So if you want to try out FreshLearn for yourself, then I will leave the link to FreshLearn in the description down below. Now let's get started with this review and dive straight into FreshLearn. So once you're logged into FreshLearn, this is the dashboard that you will see. On the left hand side, you can see the enrollments in the past 30 days, then your sales, and then also your enrollments and sales in your lifetime. Now let me show you how you can create your own course using FreshLearn. So the first thing we do, we go to products and then we have all of these options. I will get started by using the courses. And here I have my own course already, but let me create a new one just for you. So here we can give it a title. I'm going to name it how to start your own marketing agency. Then I'm going to give it a description. And now you can also choose an other, but that's not mandatory. And then we can upload our own thumbnail. So now we have our course, we can click on it. And here we have the curriculum and this works as follows. So now you can create your entire course outline. You can do that over here. So here we have a module. We can just name this something different. For example, module one. Then we can create a chapter. For example, we can do something like an introduction. We can just rename it right here. Chapter one, introduction. So then we can add in the content of our course. So for example, here I'm talking about the introduction. I can just simply upload a video. I can do an audio segment, a document. I can embed something. I can add in a quiz or an assignment. So for this, I usually would upload a video segment. For example, I would upload this segment. Now I've added in my video and here I can give it a description so I can give it any text that I want. And I can also add some downloadable files on that. Besides that, I can also enter in a quiz or an audio segment or anything that I'd like. Once you like what you see, you click on save and now your chapter is saved. Now after setting up our first chapter, you want to add in another chapter. So for example, after adding in chapter one, I will say chapter two, how to set up your business. And now I just repeat this process and I add in all the files that I have. And this way I have my own course outline. Now you can add in some new modules to create a complete outline of your course. And here you can enter in anything that you want related to your course. So after setting up your course, we can now enter in some pricing. And within the pricing plans, we have three different options. Let me show them. We have the free plan, we have a one-time payment, or we have a recurring payment. So for example, I'm gonna go with a one-time payment and then I'm gonna name it like the full course access. And here I'm gonna give the price of like 399. And this way we have our course payment set up. So now I'm gonna save it. And here you can see how it looks like. We can also go for recurring and here we can do something like a membership or we can give away a free course if we want to as well. After that, we have drip and within the drip section, we can set up triggers that let us unlock the next section of our course. So for example, if someone completes chapter one, then they get automatically access to chapter two instead of them going straight for the chapter that is like chapter four or chapter five and then skipping something. So you can set it up right there. After that, we have a certificate and this is a pretty unique feature. So if someone completes your course, they automatically get a certificate while using FreshLearn. So here we can have a certificate of completion and we have all of these different templates that we can choose from. After that, we have settings and in the settings, you can add something like gamification. And with gamification, you can enter a certain amount of points that people earn by completing a part of your course. And this will motivate them to complete the entire course. Now, once your course is ready, we can hit publish and this is our course being published. We have the link right here and this gives us the link to our course URL. And now for this, we can set up like a sales page, which I will show you how that works in a little bit. Besides that, Freshrun also has a few other cool features that you can use as well. So for example, we can use a masterclass. Here we can create our own free or paid masterclass with like a link to it. And this way we can either promote our course or we can make it a paid masterclass that people pay for 
to access like a certain specific video or live stream or anything that we'd like. Now you're not just limited to creating a masterclass or a course, you can also set up your own digital download through Freshlearn. And this is a pretty unique feature if you ask me. Because what's better than just selling your course alone, you can also set up a digital download to earn some extra income from your hard work that you did on certain objects. So let's say I've created my own digital product for my course, then I can give it a name, for example, short form content agency blueprint. Then I can add a terminal right there Then I can hit on create, add my digital download. And this way I have my own digital product that I can sell. I can even set up like the pricing and everything like that. You can also set up your own community through Freshlearn. You can see this as something like a Facebook community, but basically like the entire thing is all done through Freshlearn. So you don't need multiple platforms to have that set up. You can simply manage all of your things through Freshlearn. What I also want to show you is the way you can create a sales page through Freshlearn. This is a pretty important step for if you want to create and sell your own course. So let's check out if it is any good. Now within the website, we go to pages and within the page, we can add a new page. And when we go to the web builder, we can choose all of these different websites from all of these different categories. So for example, I'm in marketing, so I'm going to go to content marketing and here I can select a template that I'd like or I can also generate a page with AI. So now I'm gonna choose this template right here. And now I can simply just edit the template. So if I double click on there, I can just change the heading like that, or I can change the subheading as well. And now if I hit the next step, I can also set up like a custom domain name, a custom link, anything that I'd like. So this is an example of how my website would look like if I were to use Freshlearn. So I have my landing page right here short term content agency, how to create your own short term content agency. Why do this course? Then I can add an image right here. Then I can add some testimonials. I can completely customize anything that I like, an about me section, then what you will learn, the course curriculum, and also like reviews or testimonials from someone that has taken the course. And then in the bottom, I have my plans. So over here on the right side, I have my unlimited yearly plan, or I have like a membership. You can also add in like a one-time payment or anything that you'd like in here. Now, when it comes to promoting your course, this is a feature that I haven't seen on many other course builders like Teachable or like Kajabi or Thinkific, which is marketing. With Freshlearn, they aim to have like an all-in-one platform. So by that, they also include like marketing, building email marketing campaigns. So let me show you if that is any good. So here, for example, I can add in my own campaign. I have my agency newsletter right there. Then I can enter in the content. So you can pick any template that you'd like. You can have your own templates or you can choose any of these premium templates. For example, I really like this minimalistic one. Then we select it and then I can just simply start editing it. And here we have our own custom email template. The email template builder basically works like a drag and drop builder. I can just simply drag in a image or text or anything that I'd like. So what's cool about this is that you don't need to use another platform like MailChimp, for example. This will save you a lot of money if you use all of these features in Freshlearn. Now with the templates, my only feedback is that there are a limited amount of options in there. We just have the options of like six templates. I would love to see more in there, but if you want to have more, then you just have to create them yourselves, which takes a lot of time. Other than that, you can set up your own coupon codes within Freshlearn. You can also do a affiliate platform through Freshlearn as well. So this all helps promoting your course. Now, overall, I really like the minimalist design of Freshlearn, and I also like how all in one it is. So before giving my final conclusion, if Freshlearn is worth it, let me just check out the price so you know what I'm talking about. So if you check out the pricing, then we have the three following packages. We have the free plan, a pro plan or a no brainer plan. And the free plan is perfectly for if you just want to try out your course, you can create your course through Freshlearn yourself. But if you're serious about creating your course, I would recommend either the pro or the no brainer plan. Now this gives you unlimited enrollments, which you will need if you plan on selling your course to a lot of people. And also it gives you more features. For example, with the no brainer plan, you have a lot more features available than the pro plan. So check out what you need, check out what you're using it for, and then maybe go with either the pro or the no brainer plan. So overall is Freshlearn a good tool for you to use to create your own course? Well, in my opinion, yes, it is. The reason for this is because it's literally an all in one tool. If you're looking for a tool that's easy to use, 
but also has a lot of versatility, then I would recommend using FreshLearn. Also, the price for this is relatively cheap. If we compare this to Teachable or Kajabi, for example, these tools are way more expensive than Freshman is. So overall, if you are a beginner and you want to try to create your own course, definitely try out Freshman. You can get started for free and if you're ready, you can upgrade to either the Pro or the No-Brainer plan. I will leave the link for Freshman in the description down below. And if you'd like to see more videos, then make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.